Welcome back to Catch and Cook California. Today we're hunting for jackrabbit. in season right now but uh thought you'd enjoy seeing this this is a willow here it's been stripped of its bark they even knocked off a couple of the branches this is from bucks in the rut scraping the velvet off of their antlers pretty cool deer sign i've hunted for maybe four hours covered at least four miles Got a couple of shots at quail, but they gave me the slip because I'm a terrible shot. Oh, there goes another rabbit, now that I'm talking to you. Anyway, uh, I switched gears, and I just uh, shot a rabbit. So, got a rabbit for the table, got some good food. We'll make some, uh, I don't know, rabbit stew or rabbit pasties, something like that. Mexican torta with carnita style rabbit. Mm. Mm. Oh man, oh man. This is like my favorite sandwich in the world. Um, the rabbit carnita style has got a nice savory, nice spice to it, but rabbit meat has a natural sweetness to it too, so I usually use a little bit more salt, and um, man, it's fantastic. Holy sh this is so good. <laughs> right? Mm. It's delicious, right? Mm. Good job. Thank you, baby. All right, I gotta say right here now, if you tell a lot of people that you eat jackrabbit, I had a guy tell me this at a hunting shop in the Eastern Sierra. I literally would not feed that to my dog. Most people say it's tough or it's stringy. If it's tough, you have not cooked it long enough. If it's stringy, you've cooked it way too long. Bottom line is you cannot cook all meats the same way. I wouldn't cook fish the same way that I would cook steak, and I wouldn't cook steak the same way that I cook pork chops. Jackrabbit requires its own way, its own method of cooking. You cook it correctly, it is bomb. You cooked it correctly. <laughs> <laughs> 
Should we do it again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now remember, there are those who put mayonnaise on this, and they are wrong. Sour cream is the only way to go. Uh, how did you learn this? How did I learn how to make tortas? Mm -hmm. um, by eating tons and tons of tortas. I consider myself an honorary Mexican. Um, the Mexican government doesn't really see it the same way, but um, I figure I've eaten enough Mexican food in my life that they should make me at least a dual citizen.